it's got you covered for a hundred dollars less welcome to astro venture the dslr astrophotography channel Hey there, Astro Ventures. Welcome back. If you're new to this astrophotography channel, my name is George, and this is the Astrophotography Channel, where DSLR and mirrorless camera bodies combined with the lenses we already own and a simple star tracker like the Sky Guider Pro or the Star Adventurer. Today, I wanted to talk to you about the upcoming release from ZWO, and that is the ASI Air Mini. Now, that's projected to be coming out in the month of December, right in time for Christmas. And there's a lot of videos out on the web right now talking about all the nitty-gritty details and specs of the Mini. And what I wanted to do, because that information is, has been gone over a million times, is I want to discuss how it might apply for those of us with our highly portable rigs, Sky Guider, Star Adventurer, and should you consider it. Okay, so let's go over this quickly. Um, Yes, it's about half the size, and it's $100 cheaper. Well, the size, not really a big deal. It's not like this is big in the first place. The $100, that's a considerable chunk of change that saves it. So what does that you know, um, $100 reduction really do? Well, they deleted the power switch, so now to turn this on and off, you simply plug it in. No big deal. I can live with that. Half the time I forget to have the thing in the off position anyway. Uh, they also deleted the SD, micro SD card slot. Uh, not a big deal again for myself shooting with that Sky Guider Pro because I've never saved my images to the ASI Air or this SD card because my camera is recording it on its SD card. So I just haven't had a need for it. Over on the side, uh, they did retain the four power outlets, two on one side, two on the other, so they have relocated two of them. They did retain the DSLR control um, so that you can plug your, your camera into the ASI Air and let that run it. Over here, they did get rid of the Ethernet connection. This, uh, again, for the highly mobile in the field setup is uh, no big deal. This is intended for those of you that have the, or not us if you're my audience, but this is intended for those that have the really elaborate setups at home where they're looking to tie in to their home connections so that the astrophotographer can sit in their living room and monitor everything. So for those of us in the field shooting, uh, the Ethernet connection being you know deleted, no big deal. They did retain having four USB slots. The one thing that I don't like is that for some reason, rather than having USB 3, they've decided to go with four USB 2s. I don't understand the thinking. Uh, I would have loved to have seen the USB 3s in there just to kind of future-proof the, uh, the item a little bit. But again, not a big deal. Sure, USB 2 is not quite as fast as 3, but... It's not like astrophotography is a fast thing anyway. So there you have it. Um, for those of us with our, you know, mobile rigs, the Mini still polar aligns. It still plate solves. It still auto guides. Those are the three things that I use this ASI Air Pro for. The Mini will do it all. So there you have it. Um, if you want more on the details or specs, like I said, I'll link below to ZWO's specific information on all of that. But the three primary things that you're going to use this for, polar alignment, uh, plate solving to find your targets, and for the purpose of uh, auto guiding, it's got you covered for $100 less. So with that said, before I let you go, if you like the video and content that you see here at AstroVenture, consider liking the video, ringing the bell, and subscribing. And we would also love to see you over at our Facebook group, Astro Venture DSLR, so you can join the conversation over there and share what it is that you're shooting. So until next time, I want to wish you clear skies and uneventful nights.